these folks coming and going. Supper. It's supper, everyone. Oh, come on. That sure looks special. Sometimes we had so many people staying with us that every room was filled with travelers, you know. Folks living out of their suitcases and hat cases and sample cases. One time a young man was staying with us and he had him a guitar case. told you not to bother this nice young man. Oh, no, that's all right, ma'am. I, I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. Well, all right, but your supper's ready if y'all want to eat. Well, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, ma'am. Say, man, sh show me that crazy little walk you just... Slow it down some. You ain't nothing but a... I like that guitar. And we know. Sounded good. I started... Moving around the music, swinging my hips. This one night, me and Mama was out shopping, and we walked right by Benson's Furniture and Appliance Store. And guess what? You ain't nothing but a Some years later, that handsome young man who they called the king, well, he'd sung too many songs. Had himself a heart attack or something. Must be hard being a king. never seemed to want to go home. Well, she lived in a house that was always Alabama. Her mama had gone up to heaven when she was five and her daddy was some kind of a farmer. Jenny? He was a very loving man. He was always Jenny? kissing and touching her and her sisters. And then this one time, Jenny wasn't on the bus to go to school. Jenny, why'd you come to school today? Shh. Dad is taking a nap. Jenny! Come on! Jenny! Where'd you run to? You better get back here, girl! Where are you at? Mama always said that God is mysterious. He didn't turn Jenny into a bird that day. Instead, he had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. All the way up through high school. Hey, stupid! Quit it! Run, Forrest, run! Hey! Did you hear me, stupid? Run, Forrest! In the truck, in the truck! Let's move it! Run, Forrest! Run! 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 Run
Now, it used to be I ran to get where I was going. I never thought it would take me anywhere. troops enforcing a court order integrated the University of Alabama today. Two Negroes were admitted, but only after Governor George Wallace had carried out his symbolic threat to stand in the schoolhouse door. Governor Wallace, I take it from that uh, statement that uh, All right. going to stand in What's going on? Coons are trying to get into school. Coons? Well, raccoons trying to get on our back porch. Mama just chased them off with a broom. Not raccoons, you idiot niggas. And they want to go to school with us. With us? They do? Shortly after Governor Wallace had carried out his promise to block the doorway, President Kennedy ordered the Secretary of Defense then to use military force. Here by videotape is the encounter by General Graham, Commander of the National Guard, and Governor Wallace. Because these National Guardsmen were here today as federal soldiers or Alabamians, and they live within our borders, they are our brothers. We are winning in this fight because we are awakening the American people to the dangers that we have spoken about so many times, which is so evident today, the trend toward military dictatorship in this country. And so at day's end, the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa had been desegregated, and students Jimmy Hood and Vivian Malone had been signed up for summer classes. Ma'am, you dropped your book. Ma'am. Governor Wallace did what he promised to do by being on the Tuscaloosa campus and kept the mob from gathering and hey, prevented... wasn't that gum? No, that couldn't be. Sure as hell was. But I did and ran for president. <laughs> but somebody thought that it wasn't. Of the All-America team? Well, you get to meet the President of the United States. President Kennedy met with the collegiate All-American football team at the Oval Office today. Now, the really good thing about meeting the President of the United States is the food. They put you in this little room with just about anything you want to eat or drink. And since, number one, I wasn't hungry but thirsty, and number two, they was free, I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Pepper. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? It's an honor, sir. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? Very good, sir. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? Very good, sir. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got to pay. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> Sometime later, for no particular reason, somebody shot that nice young president when he was riding in his car. And a few years after that, somebody shot his little brother, too, only he was in a hotel kitchen.